hello and welcome back to the channel uh, there's a report that I wanted to talk about where they're saying America's belief in God hits a new low now I'm not surprised by that at all I'm not surprised because a lot of people have a way of thinking to me that is just not fair okay if things don't go their way then they say you know what look I don't even have to believe in that stuff right uh, anyway let me get into some of the details here um, it says um, the number of Americans who believe in God has dropped to its lowest level in 78 years. Uh, that's according to a Gallup poll. And I can see this happening because I feel like Americans are spoiled, right? Uh, they have an attitude of entitlement. And for the past few years, I would say the past three years or so, or two and a half years, or a little bit more than two and a half years, things have kind of gone downhill in America. And you have a people who believe that everything is supposed to be just hunky-dory for them all the time, right? Uh, that they shouldn't go through any type of struggles or hardships. And so that's just one of the reasons why I see that a lot of people are just choosing not to believe in God as the world calls him. I also believe, now the, the website that I'm looking at, it actually gives you statistical data on the percentages of people, uh, liberals versus Democrats and, you know, married adults and conservatives. And, you know, it just gives you all of those breakdowns in which none of that matters in, in what I'm trying to talk about here. The fact that the number has dropped overall is proof of something else to me. Uh, the Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's not just the love uh, between or among people, but even the love for the Most High God is the world cause them. A lot of people are opting out of the whole God thing because their love is waxing cold overall, right? A lot of people are getting to the point where uh, they, they feel like they don't need a God to serve or worship because... They feel like their lives is theirs. They can do whatever they want. Even though the word of the Most High says, it's in him we live, in him we move, and him we have our being. Meaning, it is because of him that we're even able to get up out of the bed in the morning. But here in America, a lot of people, they, they just kind of take things for granted. They believe, uh, they don't even think about whether or not tomorrow is promised. I'll just put it to you that way. Most people go to bed with their plans in their head about what they're going to do tomorrow, what they're going to do next week, what they're going to do next year, even for the next 10 years. Now, there's nothing wrong with making plans, but the Bible specifically says that when we make plans for another day, that's beyond today, we should say, if the Most High wills. In other words, if He will allow it, if it's in His plan, that's what we should say. But most people make their plans he don't even come into their minds. They don't even consider whether or not they will even be breathing on the day that they've made those plans for. It doesn't enter their minds because for many people, God, as the world calls him, has become a non-issue. And so this particular poll was based on the beliefs and thoughts of Americans. A lot of Americans are very high-minded, filled with pride. And so a lot of them are losing their belief because things have taken a downturn and in their minds they're like I, I refuse to believe in a God who would allow this to happen or that to happen or a God who would do this to me or who would do that to my family instead of having that humble attitude that Job had where Job said when I consider what he the most high is able to do to me I am afraid of him that's how Job looked at it right but most people they call themselves getting angry upset and refusing to believe or serve a god who they believe could do such things to people period see a lot of people think that he sits on high and all he does is thinks about how much he loves people on planet earth and they think that he's supposed to wrap the whole earth with a big love blanket regardless to how they have lived their lives regardless to how they think of him, how they treat one another, how they serve him. Most people believe that, oh, God is good, and that's it. 
See, that's why certain books were removed from the Bible. Uh, there are certain books in the Apocrypha that says that you should not only look at the goodness and mercy of the Most High God, as the world calls him, but you should also consider the fact that he is a God of wrath, an angry Elohim. He is a terror to them that dwell on the earth. See, people don't want to talk about that part of God as the world calls him. They don't want to talk about the fact that he says, I am the one who sends the whirlwind or the tornado as it is referred to here in America. They don't want to consider the fact that he is the one who sends the hurricane. He is the one who sends the storm. He is the one who dispatches the angel of death throughout the earth. See, but people who know the Most High, people who understand how he works, we understand that, yes, he is a God, as the world calls him, of mercy and love and grace. But he is also to be understood as the one who gives life and who takes life. And so when you consider these things, a lot of Americans, they have that uppity attitude of how dare you do these things to us. Now, we can see you doing it in these third world nations. But over here, how dare you allow us to suffer? And so that is the reason why some don't believe. Now, others are losing their belief because they want to do what they want to do. And they're saying, I don't need no God over my shoulder telling me that I can't do what I want to do. I don't need no God telling me that it's wrong for me to do this, that, and the third. I don't need no God telling me that I need to make my, my way right and I have to live righteously and that I can't do what I want to do to that, this person. I don't need no God telling me that I can't commit the sin that only lasts for a season. So some people, they say, look, if you're going to have all these kinds of rules that govern my life, I just won't believe in you. People who have sexually deviant lifestyles, they don't want to believe in God as the world calls them. It's too much. They say, if I believe, then that means I'm going to have to stop doing this. That means that I can't be with the person that I want to be with because the God and creator of heaven and the earth says that I can't do it. So a lot of people are using moral, their moral decisions to delete God, as the world calls him, out of their lives. It all boils down to that. Now, of course, there are many other reasons. Some people were born in a household where Satan was the ruler, right? Some people were born in households that were so godless to where they never considered him to begin with. Some people were born into scientific households to where they believed that they came up out of, you know, some um, little speck of amoeba <laughs> that came out of the water, some piece of bacteria that just kind of grew into this, developed into a frog, and then from a frog to a dog, from a dog to a monkey, from a monkey to a man, however their timeline goes, right? You have those who were born into that situation to where they never believed, and they just believed that we just came out of some some particular living being. But what gave that living being is life to begin with, right? How did we all morph into this intelligent being that we've become out of a speck of living matter from the ocean you see either way it goes people have conjured up their own reasons why they don't believe in god and some who are choosing not to believe in him anymore whereas they used to believe but they believe no more many reasons out there right but it's really a trip to me that america's all-time low we are looking at it right now, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Anyway, y'all, I'm done with this video. Of course, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Those of you who don't believe, please share with me why you don't believe in God. And tell me how you think you got here, okay? I'm just curious. How do you think you got here? If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe that mankind, heaven and earth, and all that dwells therein was created. If you don't believe it, how did we all get here? Share your comments in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm out.
Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.